Did the M1 Garin ping put American infantry at risk during World War II? There is a legendary myth that the distinct ping of the M1, as highlighted in so many movies, can alert an enemy that a rifleman is about to reload or out of ammo. It's even been said that some GIs got wind of this and attempted to trick soldiers by throwing clips on the ground or banging them on their helmet. Malarkey. Malarkey slang for bullshit, isn't it? Yes, sir. It's safe to say this is malarkey, but could have easily been one of the many odd myths circulating during World War II and it was possible a green or nervous soldier may have given it some consideration. A safety? Yeah, that little lever there, you just pull it. Not the... <laughs> the ping, however, was not an issue for several reasons. The M1 can be reloaded fast, in just over a second by a skilled rifleman. Riflemen were almost never alone. Rifle squads did not reload in unison, they exercised fire and maneuver tactics, and generally could count on having a BAR, Thompson submachine gun, machine gun, or even mortar supporting them. Noise is also critical to disproving this myth. Helmets generally cover the ears when worn correctly. Rifle or even pistol fire is near deafening. Battlefield noise can be overwhelming. So can even just your own breathing in combat. A firefight is louder than the loudest party. A ping would not stand out. One of the best movies to highlight the sound of even just a few automatic weapons in combat is Heat from 1995. Auditory exclusion is a common side effect in high stress combat. When you're under immense stress, hearing can be the first thing to shut down, something well highlighted in Saving Private Ryan. This is the reason why infantry yell at the top of their lungs in combat, or use hand signals. But this is not to say there weren't rare situations of someone carefully listening at a door or under a window for an M1 clip to empty at their comrades. It's just not documented or practical. Likely this rumor does come from the numerous charge attacks undertaken by the Japanese. Not hard to imagine some of these coincided with a rifleman's ping. Today many modern military tactics actually include yelling out to indicate reloading or a stoppage, knowing in battle this will likely only be acknowledged by a squad mate in immediate proximity. Alright, I'm Johnny. I wanted to make this one short and sweet because it's not a complicated rumor to disprove. That being said, if you have a relative that has a story that proves the ping myth, please get some details with context, because these stories would be pretty rare, and they need to be shared.